Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of the No Hit series. On the first episode, I only have the gameplay and the soundtrack and the sound effects. I didn't really explain what I did to be able to do a No Hit run, which will be the key difference for this video. Because I will be doing commentary on what strategies I use for particular attacks and what strategies I use uh, in general. Because the, this fight is really tricky because you're actually, you're actually attacking a party and they can use healing items and shit. Anyways, hope you enjoy and I will now explain the first attack. Now, for my Ending of the first three attacks, they are always the same. The first attack has these uh, short slashes from Chris. They always uh, home in on you, but sometimes, though I will explain on later attacks because no, no, actually, they sometimes they are inaccurate and they intentionally miss you. Instead of going straight at you, they go a bit next to you. It can be really tricky and it's based on RNG from my understanding. After the three slashes, there are the axes. At first, they were really, really tricky to dodge, but they just do a, a this kind of motion which they go forward. Then they do uh, a 30 degree circle and go backwards. They're not that difficult to understand after you get the gist of it. And after the axes are done uh, and Susie stops attacking, does, they, uh, does the, the fireballs that they don't really hit you? I haven't tested if they avoid you, but. This shouldn't be that big of a problem. Anyway, oh, also sorry if there won't be any sound effects for this video, unlike the previous one, because I actually recorded this muted. But it should be fine since I at least have the soundtrack input. So yeah. Now, for the second attack, Chris uses the stars that after a while they turn into five smaller stars, which can be really annoying with the spike attack that uh, Susie uses, which they create a lot of rocks after they reach the top of the battle box. And after Susie is done, Raza uses the healing pellets. Which they don't actually damage you, but they drain your TP, so you should probably avoid them. On this attack, uh, Chris uses the pointing finger that home is on you and shoots four stars that they. There is no chance to intentionally miss on this one. Anyways, what makes this attack really annoying is that Susie also uses the three projectiles one which their trail of stars also hurt you so it can be really tricky for you to avoid it and also after the onslaught of uh, point, pointy fingers and uh, stars is over uh, Ralze uses the home in fireball attack, which is a bit tricky, but there are two ways you can dodge it, so it isn't that bad. Now, on this one, it's really tricky because all of them attack you at once. Uh, Suzy is doing the, the axis, uh, Chris is doing the home in short slash, and uh, Ralze is doing the homing fireballs. What I did was during this attack, I, I mostly focused on the short slash since it's the most uh, accurate thing and the most annoying. 
So if the axes are more of a problem for you, you should probably focus on the axes and uh, in turn for the fibers from around it. Now, this one is one of the most annoying attacks and sadly, it's, or thankfully, it's based on RNG, if you get it or not. It's the, the sorceress and three projectiles one where Chris is doing a home in sorceress, which, like I said, he can intentionally miss. And Susie is doing the three projectiles with the star trails that can hurt you. And it's really annoying and tricky to dodge, but. I suggest to focus more on Susie's uh, trail and w where the sources appears and to make sure that if it dodges you don't always think that it's directly going to you. Now on this attack it's actually uh, Chris uses the stars and, uh, and Susie uh, uses the axes. It's not that bad but it's re uh, really annoying because sometimes uh, you might get hit by the stars in order to avoid the axes but it's gonna be too difficult compared to the others. The last attack that I will be saying tips is this one. It's similar to the second one with the spikes, but now Rousey is actually using the homing fireballs. It's uh, really annoying, so you should focus more on the spikes and the fireballs than the stars. So if it's on an annoying position, uh, like in the middle, you should probably focus more on the star because it will be a bigger problem than the fireballs. But yeah, that's about it. Now we'll get out to the actual successful attempt. Thanks for watching and make sure to see the actual successful attempt. See ya!